Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCG Hill Rebel Clash video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at a Scizor deck today. Now, as you can see, I am in a new, well, position in the webcam. So that means I have indeed got a new gaming setup. I got a brand new desk yesterday. My old desk was not that great. It was just a single lone desk. Um, it wasn't that good. It was small. Um, I barely could even fit both the microphone and the mouse and the laptop to make the videos on it. But now I have an actual like big desk, like a pretty good desk. Um, if you check out my Twitter, I posted a photo of what it looks like. Uh, mainly my only issue right now with this setup is, well, one, it's not finished. I am building an actual gaming PC. Um, over time, I'm collecting parts. So eventually I'll get a gaming PC, probably definitely by the end of the year. I need to get a better gaming chair. Cause as you can see, I'm using a kitchen chair, but I'm getting an office chair in today. Um, and then also, the lighting might be a little awkward uh, I don't do you guys mind the blinds in the background I need to know if you guys care about the blinds in the background because I don't know if you guys will like the blinds being in the background there with the light coming through it's up to you guys it, it, it's the only problem with the setup is my webcam does face towards my window so it is awkward I am definitely gonna be getting probably some lighting equipment too and stuff like that um, so yeah without further ado let's uh, take a look at the list here shall we yeah scissor pretty cool stuff now mainly the whole idea of this deck is you evolve scissor from scyther and then you do raid for one energy for 120 and you can also use scoop up net to uh, reuse your scissor here we have galarian berserker do more damage that's pretty much the whole idea of the deck um so yeah before getting the video guys of course shout out to our sponsor cargaven tcg as always guys if you're looking for any pdc joe pack codes guys head over to cargaven tcg and pick up your pdc joe codes there of course guys if you're still looking to get yourself some uh, rebel clash codes get them over there of course so if you also have any codes laying around that you do not need anymore you can give them to car cabin tcg they get, they will give you some cash and in-store credit for your unused pcgo um codes and also any cards you want to trade in for bulk of course guys though if you're still looking for pack codes still you can pick them up car cabin tcg you can get rebel clash codes unify mind codes team up codes or if you guys are looking for any specific uh v or gx code or ex code or if you're looking for the evolution kit just get them over at car cabin tcg if you get anything from there guys use code ldf at the checkout for a five percent discount on your purchase it supports the channel helps yourself out and of course supports car cabin tcg too so shout out to car cabin check them out and yeah use code ldf so let's take a look at the scissor list here so it's a pretty straightforward deck it's literally just all about using scissor now as you can see there is no ditto prism in this deck because scissor actually doesn't work with ditto scissor is literally a uh, lucario uh, gx but on a non non gx and it's also a metal type so its type is a lot weaker obviously one of the best things about using lucario is it is a fighting type um and it can one shot pika um, but scissor can't do that that's fine though it can be used with scoop up net which means you can uh, reuse this attack over and over again and we also have galarian berserker so we can do 20 more damage it's not bad the nice thing about, about scissor though is like with berserker and trying to punishment this thing's actually one sh or two shotting most pokemon so it's actually not that bad um even if you get two berserkers in play you're two shotting um dragapult v max which is pretty cool uh now it does have 130 hp uh, which isn't bad. I mean, the HP is okay. Uh, I am playing one gun metal goggles in here to give us a little bit more HP or maybe even help us against Dragapult. I got three Jirachi because when we do scoop up net, we can go into Jirachi. I got one Zacian. and this can be a nice late game attacker. Uh, and I got one Mew to protect our bench from Pika, one Evo Incense, one Friend Ball. Friend Ball is really good with metal types because everyone plays Jirachi and even Zacian. I got four Metal Saucer. Of course, when you play scoop up net, you actually have to discard the energy. So I'm gonna use Metal Saucer to get the energy back. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, we got Nori Rod. I got three Switch. Uh, mainly because like Zacian and I uh, got one tool scrapper just to help us do more damage three shot of punishment two boss uh, four Marnie four research Marnie Cynthia relatively the same thing I prefer Marnie though because it's a little bit more useful I got two escape boards uh, one metal goggles and eight basic metal here so yeah this is my uh, scissor deck here it's a pretty interesting archetype and uh, let's go try it on PC Joe and see in action I right, guess get into a match here with the deck we'll find a game here and uh, I do again want to say uh, what do you guys think of the light being in the background? I can always close my blinds. To be fair, though, I'm not a big fan of recording in the dark. I don't know why. It's just not really something I like. Uh, one of the nice things about my old setup was I was facing this way. And the, you didn't obviously see the curtains in the background. But the lighting, I thought, was really natural when I had my when it was a nice sunny day. Fortunately, it's not the case because I have the thing in the background. So let me know. Let me know if you guys like the curtains being open or you just want them closed. It, it's whatever, you know. I'll probably end up getting some lighting equipment. The only problem is the closed curtains. The lighting in here is really bad. So I don't know. Um, ooh, so we're up against 
some weird Buzzwool Malamar deck. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of, I think... Oh, we can get a... Oh, we should be able, we can get a Scyther here. All right, we're here to the research. We'll get a Scyther. I did not realize the Buzzwool was Crest type for a sec. <laughs> that was my bad. Yeah, we'll definitely get a double Scyther here. We probably honestly could have gone a Berserker to do... Yeah, we should have probably Quick Ball for me out there. Let's see if we can get another Quick Ball. No. That's fine. Dang, yeah, I should have gotten Meowth. But I guess still having double Scyther is still good because you have to scoop up net this thing anyways. Um, so yeah, maybe it's fine. But don't worry guys, I'll still be drinking I'll still be drinking something in my videos, just just because I got a new setup. Because I have a double desk. I got one big desk here, which will have like my computer and stuff and when I get it done and then I got this desk which is a bunch of junk on it but that's also where my drink will be so if you guys thought the meme of me drinking during my videos was gonna die don't worry it's still here um what the heck a Glaceon gets discarded okay we're definitely up against a Mewtwo deck which is fine uh, I think we can beat Mewtwo as long as they don't have any weird shenanigan Pokemon that can like disrupt me I don't think there is anything uh they might horror house me this turn I don't well maybe I'm assuming they might go for horror house if they have it in the deck and then there's the GX deck. Okay, oh, they're getting a lot of Pokemon to discard here pretty quickly. The Buzzwool actually might not be able to move, which is pretty good. Um, Scizor is resistant to Grass, so Buzzwool or Buzzmosa does only 10 damage to it, which have, or actually does zero damage, but... Unfortunately, it's probably not gonna happen. Yeah, there's a Trevnor. That could be a bit of an issue. And, all right, no Gengar, no Whammy. No Whammy. So hopefully we can two-shot this. Okay, just a pass. We get another Jirachi, we'll bench that. Go here, evolve. I think we'll play the Marnie before. Well, I guess we could have Viridian away this the energy. Okay, we got one anyway. Anyways, it's fine. Uh, we'll take the Shrine. Yes, sir. The Shrine is gonna be huge if they're just playing nothing but GXs. We can Viridian here. We can. Yeah, here's what we can do. We can Viridian this away for an energy. We can actually attach to the Scyther on the bench and Metal Saucer to the bench scissor. So we have two energy spread out, which seems pretty cool. Do we want to put the metal goggles on? I mean, it doesn't really matter. We actually probably could just get Meowth here. I don't really think we need the metal goggles. So I'm actually just going to get Meowth. The only issue right now is we are susceptible to that Nightwatch. We have a two, we have a double Drachi set up though, so we're good. So let's hit him here for 130 thanks to, well, yeah, the Shine lets us two shot, obviously. And so they have to move this thing here. And the Shine damage hopefully sticks for a few more turns because we really want that damage to be on the Mewtwo so we can two shot it. Seems good to me. All right, there's a quick ball getting played by my opponent. Gets rid of the Goose Mahala. So I, I gotta assume they're gonna move this Buzzmosa here. I don't really see how... Okay, they're researching. Okay, well, they could have uh, played the Goose Mahala for an air balloon if they play that, which I assume they do. Okay, so the only thing I'm scared of here is a Night Watch knocking me out. That could be really bad, especially if Drachi fails us because we already got rid of a research earlier on. Okay, Aurora Energy's fine. They actually, again, they, they don't do any damage to my active. Oh, they're settling with a Jet Punch. Uh-oh. The nice thing about Scizor is it actually does have a one retreat. So we can just retreat the Scizor and we're good. Um, okay, cool. So we're getting three prizes here. Uh, there's a scoop up net. Definitely just play that, I think. Seems good. And uh, we'll Marnie, of course. Okay. We'll Stellar Wish. We'll just take the re- we need to take as many supports as we can here. And uh, yeah, we'll just switch into the Scizor. And we're going to take a knockout. I kind of wish we had another uh, Scyther there, but that's fine. We're going to knock out my opponent's buzz most. So take three prizes. So now our game plan is just knock this out and win the game. Uh, they do have Maracas Duo, though, which is a bit of a an, bit, an, bit annoying. Tool Scrapper. Evo Incense. Okay. Still no outs to Scyther. Maybe we could also just knock out Malamar and knock out Cobalion. Cobalion is very, very, very easy to knock out. So maybe our wing condition could just be knock out two, because we have two boss in our hands, I mean. If we can pull it off, we can get around the Mewtwo by just knocking out two normal things. Uh, we'll see if they go for Nightwatch or not. Ooh, that's a pretty smart idea, bossing the me, the Scyther. So now we can't use Scizor here. Oh, we can, but it's not going to be as effective. That's pretty good. Hmm. 
We could Metal Saucer and do Guard Claw. Now I wish I kept the Metal Goggles, because I actually let Scissor live from, uh, from, uh, Nightwatch. Alright, little Stellar Wish here, looking for a Quick Ball. There we go. We'll just get rid of Tool Scrap. I don't really know how many boss orders they have. They've only... Well, they played actually two, so they might not even have any left, unless they drop an Eldegoss. Yeah, they played two. I mean, there's like no point of doing Raid here, right? Hmm. I don't mind building up to Guard Claw. But, um, again, my point is to do Maracas Duo, and there's nothing I can do about that. That's why I wouldn't mind knocking out something on the bench and then knocking out this. But we're not doing enough damage to the ink. We're only doing 50 with Raid, which is pretty annoying. I might just let him knock out the Jirachi here. Maybe get a Scuba Net, actually. Won't be bad. No, we got a Metal Saucer. Oh, okay, so we can do Guard Claw here. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go for it. My opponent can't knock me out with Nightwatch either, which is pretty good. The only problem is, well, we have three supporters, so there is no problem, because Nightwatch can't knock me out and then it doesn't matter. Oh, we got a scoop of minutes, so we can actually use his or. So all we need to do is get our boss's order and knock this out and we win the game. Uh, what can my opponent do? Like, yeah, I don't really know what they have here. That can really, like, be super annoying. Alright, do they have a Marnie, though? They've only played one, and they clearly play more than just one Marnie. This is a very interesting Malamar Toolbox deck. Nope, just a Nightwatch. Not gonna knock me out. Let's see what they get rid of here. Okay, well, they get rid of two cards I didn't want to lose, but okay. That's a little uh, annoying. How much energy do we have left? We've still got a lot, okay. Hmm. See, he's just gonna do Maraca's Duo. Right, unless, like, he has a three-card hand. He might not have an energy, actually, but... I mean, I guess we just go for the Guard Claw and then threaten the knockout. I would play a supporter to try to find that boss site Scizor play, but... I don't know. I don't want to lose too many supporters, especially if we get reset stamped. Like, we could lose to Nightwatch Zone. I don't want to have that happen. I think we just Guard Claw, force him to play Marco's Duo for the knockout. Or a Mallow and Lana works, too. That's a little annoying. Now that's pretty bad. Well, he didn't have an energy. He's in top deck mode with the prize card he takes. Hmm. Okay, I'm glad we kept the researches. I didn't want to Marnie him. I actually wouldn't mind the Marnie and the research staying, but whatever. Okay, so we're going to try to just find boss's order here. There's no way we can knock out this Cobalion on this turn. Hopefully we don't draw boss. Whatever, shrine, sure. All right, so the research. We didn't get much. We didn't even get the, uh, Scizor. Yeah, no Scizor rip. Can ordinary rod, though. Actually, I don't even know if I want to do both. I probably do, right? Let's go here. Take the boss, alright, as long as we don't lose it tonight, watch. And then all we gotta do is get Scizor here. And we win the game. Metal Claw. I guess we could... Oh, yeah. Metal Claw would knock it out. Maybe we should just build up Berserker. We still have how many Metal Saucers left? Two? Hmm, maybe not the greatest odds. Oh, there goes my Shrine. Shrine did its job, though. It did so much work to the Dedenny and the uh, Cobalion. I don't really care. My opponent's still in top deck mode. Yeah, maybe we should just go for the uh, attack here with Sc Scissor. Because they don't have an energy to Maracas duel me. We'll see if we can top to get Scizor here. We put one back in the deck. We have all four in the deck. We still have Evo Incense in the deck too, I think, right? Yeah, Evo Incense still in the deck, so like... <laughs> hopefully we get there. The Cobalion would actually be perfect. We still have the Friend Ball too, because it's going to be a Metal Temple. No! We hit the boss and the Research! Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Mm. What the heck, man? Alright. Oh... 
Dude, that is so annoying. We actually would have won here if he didn't hit the boss. <sighs> oh, that cheeses me. Ooh, I genuinely don't know what to do. Why did he have to hit the boss, man? Dude, we would have won. I'm actually so... I'm salty right now. I am salty. Um, do we just... Pray he doesn't have an energy? Well, we can't... Even if we go Scizor here, we can't two-shot him with anything. We gotta let him knock out the Berserker again. There's nothing I can do. We just gotta hope he doesn't hit the evil wind sense, I guess. And then we hope the Stellar Wish into a, a boss here. Yeah, so he had the energy, so yeah. Well, he actually could do Miraculous Duo now, and then there's no way we can win. Well, we no, we can still two-shot the Mewtwo, but there's no way we can win by knocking out Cobalion. Or Dedenne. Damn, bro. <laughs> he had a big charm. Oh my gosh. And he's doing it. Okay. Yeah, this is bad. We need to get our research here. Oh, man. We had the game there. We just needed to not lose the boss. That's so... Man, I'm, I'm still mad about that, dude. That is so... That's cheap, bro. That's a cheap shot. Okay, we got a shrine back, which is good. Hmm. If we can try to get another Berserker and play, maybe we stand a chance of knocking out, like, Dedenne or something. Let's mow Marnie. We need to get a Scyther here. We didn't even get a Scyther, bro. What? All right, we just lost. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that sucks, bro. I'm actually pretty, pretty mad about that, dude. We had the win there, but he just hit the boss or off that Night Watch. Dude, that sucks. He, the fact that he never had the energy that whole time makes me wish I just went Scyther or Scizor because. He would never have done Maraca's duo because he never had the energy to do it. But damn, bro, that sucks. All right, guys, getting into another match with the deck here. Hopefully, we can actually win this time and not lose to uh, an unfortunate Night Watch. So we'll see what we're up against here. Uh, might be another Mewtwo deck, judging from the sleeves and stuff. I mean, hopefully not, because <laughs> we already know how that last Mewtwo game went. All right, we got a Quick Ball. We can get another Scyther, I think. We can also go Jirachi. Oh, are they playing Tool Drop? This might be a Tool Drop deck. That'll be interesting. Um... So we could treat into Jirachi here. We do have a Metal Saucer, so yeah, I think I'm actually going to retreat into Jirachi. So I don't really... I mean, I don't think Scyther will get knocked out, but still. Uh, another Quick Ball, we'll take that. We'll play it. Get rid of the Metal Saucer for another Scyther. And... Uh, yeah, I'll put the Shrine in play. If they're playing Tool Drop, they only have the one Genesect, or the couple Genesects. Might as well play the Shrine down. See no reason not to. We'll see if they uh, Marnie us or not. Hopefully we do. I mean, I don't really want to lose two Metal Saucers just like that. Okay, there's a Cynthia getting played. We'll see what my opponent gets here. Okay, they do get energy, U-turn board, counter king. <laughs> Lots of stuff. Uh, and they actually decide not to move, apparently. I mean, okay, I guess they can't uh, get knocked out. Actually, fair play. Um, can we get an evil wind sense? Get a friend ball, which is perfect. Yep, perfect. So now we just need to not whip a switching card off of our research here, which is good. So yeah, Friend Ball, very good card in this deck when you can just get a Scyther for free or Scizor, sorry, for free. And well, we're not going to be doing as much damage because of the Frying Pan, I actually don't mind poking this because this can also be how we win the game is by knocking this up for two prizes. All right, there's a Switch, there's a Berserker, or Meow, sorry. Put that there and we will go for the raid for how much? 90? So not bad. Maybe the Shrine can knock him out. If they don't have a counter stadium, the Shrine of Punishment could just finish them off at some point. And I did put a Metal Goggles on, so hopefully a Scizor sponges a hit here. If my opponent does happen to make go with the uh, Dewblade here. What the? Choose any number of revenge Pokemon that don't already have a tool attached to them. Oh. Yo, that's actually a busted card. Yo, and he gets a lucky egg on it so that... Oh my gosh. Yo, this man just pulled the most insane comp. Oh, he did. Never mind. 
Never mind, he doesn't even do anything with it. Uh, he's already weak to metal, so we just need to get the Berserker here, which we'll just evil wind sense for, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold the hand too. Uh, Mench the Ishin, I guess. Put energy there and just hold the hand and just knock out this. My point's gonna let the egg activated. Yo, that's a busted tech. If this guy filled up his mench, he could have gotten an insane amount of tools. I don't know if Delibird can put two tools on a Genesec uh, GXO. All right, there's our scissor. We can actually just retreat next turn. So things are looking a little bit better in this game than they were in that Mewtwo match. Um, so they do get a capture energy on uh, for a Trubbish? Really? Oh, they got a counter stadium rip. Another Genesect. Huh. I mean, I don't know what the Garboder's for, but I mean, the deck's working well for them here. Oak setup. Okay, they can get two Dew Blades here, right? Okay, they get a tap. Okay, they have a very, uh, very teched out deck. Yeah, they're not even knocking me out thanks to the Metal Goggles. Oh, it's literally allowing us to just live. Uh, so let's just retreat. Go here. Put that there and we'll research that's out of the right of research is now so that's a little sketch uh didn't get another scissor we have a tool scrapper here that'll help we can cripple my opponent a little bit we'll get rid of the uh frying pan and definitely the lucky egg i think we'll quick ball wave the shrine for another well that's our last shrine actually oh yeah we should have kept that but i want to get another scyther down so I think I'm just gonna go for it. I guess we should have just not done that. Yeah, you know what? We probably should get the shrine in case it gets countered. Again, we can always boss order this up, so I'm not really too worried. Plus, Zacian can one shot it anyways, so I'm not even worried at all. I'm not even worried. I wanna make sure we keep our metal saucers for energy conservation. Curse shovel. Alright, my opponent's got all the tools. We'll see if what that last card in their hand is gonna be. They get a Haunage and a counter game back. Uh they don't have a uh, counter gain on this guy. Oh, a fairy charm is going to confuse my boy. Another deli bird coming down. Another lucky coming down. Holy cow. Will they find the Garboder? If they had the Garboder last turn, they actually could have knocked out my uh, scissor when they hit me there. No, they just passed. Okay. All right, let's switch. Um, see if we can hit the boss. No, we get a scoop up net though. I will take that in spades. Scoop up Ned this. And yeah, I think we'll just retreat into this guy. How much energy do we have left? One. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll take a knockout. We'll let Scissor get knocked out as long as we don't lose our hand. And then we'll uh, Ordinary Rod um, and then do Mari. So we can get back the Scissor and the energy. Uh, I don't know if we have a boss prize, but getting one off the prizes here wouldn't be bad. So that would be cool if we can get a boss here. We'll see what my opponent does. They're probably going to get knocked out. They have not played a single twin energy yet. I mean, their deck is pretty wacky, but hey, it's working for them. They're flowing pretty well. Not going to lie. They are flowing pretty well. They haven't taken a prize yet, which is not good for them, but they're still flowing pretty well. I don't even know if uh, Zacian can get one shot by Dewblade. Oh, wait, now it's Jamie Amulet. Oh, they should have... No, they can't right now. I was like, they should have put on the... Oh, oh, yeah, I just realized. So, not only did they counter my stadium here because the shrine's gonna knock out that uh, Genesect. Oh, so we actually just win here, it looks like. Yeah, that's gonna be game. That's gonna be game. Promote you. That'll knock him out, and then we just need to get... We just need to drop Scizor and put the Metal Saucer on. Okay, so it looks like we didn't even have a... Uh, Boss's order prize. That will be game here against my opponent's pretty interesting tool drop deck. A lot of tech cards. I don't really know if I agree with, you know, having like Garboder and stuff. I don't really think like the Garboder is like super needed, but I mean, their deck was, they had a lot of interesting stuff going on. The, the Oak setup, the, uh, the Tapu Lele, the Magirna. A lot of interesting stuff going on in my opponent's deck there for sure. So I think I'm going to wrap up the day's peace show video, guys. Oh, so close. Yeah, I'm thinking about the day's peace show video, guys, on the Scizor deck here. My back is hurting because I have to stretch my back out a little bit because once again i'm using a chair that's not really you know meant for gaming it's a literal kitchen chair so i have to kind of hunch over a bit i should be getting my gaming chair today or tomorrow but yeah i'm gonna run the video here guys i think we showed up the deck pretty well we took an l to mewtwo there that was a pretty rough l we came close to winning very very close literally 
we were just one one night watch off we, if my opponent didn't get rid of the boss there we would have had game on the cobalion still kind of mad about that because man that was everything was going well especially when my opponent let me knock out the buzzmosa there but uh yeah that are the video guys on the scissor deck pretty cool archetype for sure and I don't even know what I would change about the list, to be honest with you. Maybe add in more ways to find Scyther. Maybe add, like, a couple Great Balls or something, because I think the only thing we're really missing here, especially in that Mewtwo game, was just find more ways to dig for Scyther. Oh, you know what? Netball would go in here. That's a card I think we uh, should put in here is Netball. Though I don't know what we'd take out for the Netball specifically. Uh, but I actually think this deck probably could use a Netball. I forgot. That is one way we can search for Scyther. I still think, like, Friend Ball and Quick Ball are, like, the better options for this deck. But... If you can find a, if you find room to throw in a couple net balls, that would be good because I do think this deck should play a couple ways to find your scythers. Other than that, though, I think the deck played pretty well for us and I enjoyed playing it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. If you enjoyed, drop a like on the video. Uh, let me know down below what you guys think of the the lighting setup. Do you guys like the light here? Again, I can always use my head here, as you can see, to kind of block the light. So it's not like in your eyes. But as long as you guys don't look at the webcam, I have shrunk it a little bit. But I am actually going to begin a web better webcam at some point. It's just, again, I'm saving up bit by bit buying um, different things to upgrade in my, you know, whole gaming setup. Again, I'm saving up for an actual gaming PC. So my videos will be better quality and all that good stuff. Um, and then, of course... I'm getting a better webcam soon, so hopefully that fixes things. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. If you enjoyed, drop a like. Check out our sponsor, Kirk MTC, down below. As always, guys, use code Ali for the checkout. Thanks for watching the video on the Scizor deck, and I'll catch you guys on another PCO video tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.